Thanks to its low price and long shelf life, palm oil is in greater demand in Western markets. Derived from the fruit of oil palm trees, it can be found in more than half of all the products sold in U.S. supermarkets, from cookies to cosmetics. The huge global appetite is yielding billions in revenue for Indonesia and Malaysia, the world's first and second largest producers. But environmental and human rights activists warn that the boom is doing irreparable damage to rare biodiversity and accelerating the effects of global warming, with no concern for long-term social costs. In eastern Malaysia's Sabah province, the industry depends on tens of thousands of migrant workers from Indonesia and the Philippines. Some have labored on plantations for more than 30 years. Thanks to their efforts, palm oil has become Malaysia's most lucrative crop. In 2011, the export of palm oil and palm-based products netted $27 billion. Yet the government refuses to provide them with legal documents that would grant them and their families basic rights. As a result, an estimated 36,000 children living on backcountry farms are without access to health care in schools. Some companies have started to invest more in their workers by opening learning centers and bringing teachers to remote plantations. But the vast majority of youngsters are condemned to lives of hard labor, inheriting the same low-paying jobs as their parents. Without paperwork, they're always at risk for arrest and harassment by authorities. The irony is that with a labor shortage on the sprawling plantations, Malaysia needs migrant workers more than ever, giving them more leverage than they realize. But isolation and fear that stems from a lack of education conspire to keep them stuck in obscurity.